Okay, and welcome back. So, it looks like last time the, the episode was like some absurd 40 minutes long, and it's like 1.2 gigabytes, so that probably took me a long time to upload, if you guys are watching this right now. Anyways, now that we are back, we are uh, going to be doing a few more things. So, uh, last episode we took over Sky over here, which should be, uh, which should reward us with like quite a lot of gold, actually. And we have taken uh, this set of settlement from the Scottish. Uh, so, the campaign map progress, we're doing fairly well. So long as we neutralize the Scottish threat, we should be fine. The English are fighting kind of a three-way war right now. They're fighting the people over here, uh, Wales, which which has a lot of like really, really versatile light infantrymen, but they don't have any heavy units at all. Uh, they're fighting the Irish over here, which I'm actually not sure what their specialty is, but I mean, they, they have a lot of people, and they're kind of busy with uh, that island right there. And later on, um, the barons of some of uh, England will actually rise up, and that'll make another faction on the map, which will take stuff off of the British, which will make things a little bit easier for us. So anyways, let's, uh, let's buy some garrison units for our newly captured city, and end the turn. Where exactly are we getting attacked from? Ah, the Scottish are making their offensive to the north over here. I'm going to auto do this battle simply because we can't defend from that many troops. They're probably going to try to take Wick, so we're going to have to do something about that. We have another mission to take another town, probably the... not the Isle of something something something. Completely different settlement this time, actually. Well, in that case, we're going to pack up uh, the majority of our army here onto a boat. Um, build some build some highland pikemen to defend the settlement, and we're going to take the rest of our guys uh, over here to capture this other settlement. Yes. Okay, so that should handle that. We should be able to complete the bonus mission and get some uh, get the reward, which will be some of the best units currently available uh, in a few turns. They have the fort captured. Um, it looks like we're going to have to put up some some uh, some troops to resist the Scottish uh, main army over here. So we'll get a Connaught, uh, 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 I don't know. I'm not going to try to pronounce the names inside this playthrough, but we're going to get this general here to lead, to lead an army. Actually, I'm going to build some more improvements. I think I'll build improvements to all of my towns which don't have farming um, and good road systems because those two things really add up um, onto the provinces over time. Anyways, we're going to be recruiting some more of these dismounted Huskarls, and we're also going to be getting some more Viking Raiders so that we can hopefully resist this army right here. This army uh, it's commanded by a prince, and it has these uh, heavy pike militia. I mean, they're armored units, so they're actually pretty tough, uh, so we'll need some heavier units to take on those guys. The good thing is that they have pikemen, which are vulnerable to swords and to, uh, well, to me, to some extent, axes because of that. Uh, something that we have plenty of. Over here, let's recruit some more town militia, and we should be able to send a envoy of uh, Norse swordsmen to the front in a little bit. For now, let's get um, Prince Mangus's troops over here to take the fighting to uh, this place. We're just going to auto play this battle simply because I want to speed things up a little bit. And we're going to get them to attack uh, Gasclo over there. What's probably going to happen is that uh, this city is going to riot. Yeah. Uh, luckily, nobody was harmed in the disaster, and that's simply because we just simply took this town. The, the people who live there are obviously not very happy, and I didn't mean to earn a turn there, uh, but everything should be fine. Yeah, there we go. So this event happens. The English barons riot. So a new threat to the English throne has emerged. A couple of barons have risen up against the English king. So somewhere over here, not gonna adopt anybody, and our king arrives, which brings us another army. So what this means is that over here, the English, uh, yeah, are going to be fighting amongst themselves, while it's fighting the people of Wales over here and the people of Ireland over here. That'll put them in a very difficult situation, hopefully one that we will be able to exploit. 
Uh, we still have to complete this objective to take some rebel town over here, so let's get our boat to deploy our troops here. And these guys will just take this town next turn, hopefully. In the meantime, the king's forces are over here. We're just going to combine all of his ships into one gigantic force, because it makes more sense to, right? And that'll give us, I believe, like, yeah, almost a full 20 set, um, 20 set army and these guys actually possess some of the higher up units such as these uh, Gotland foot soldiers which are apparently some of the best inside this uh, particular campaign so they have a whopping attack of 18 almost double of some of the other units's uh, charge bonus of 9 again really impressive good armor good defenses although really really uh, expensive at 640 gold however their maintenance sheet is uh, decent and once again they're shock troops so they fight an enemy infantry. Uh, we're going to sail our That's boat fair. around, this, uh, around the coast and actually go right on into the Scottish capital and hopefully smash them. Uh, we're going to have to defend ourselves this time against the, the Scottish main army. Well at least uh, they will have a sizable amount of troops away from our little you know, amphibious invasion so that's pretty good. I think William Wallace actually Lord, appears inside this campaign. Have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's when start. When you are under siege, place all infantry missile troops on the walls. Not only does this give the troops an elevated place to fire from, but it also provides protection from enemy missiles as well. Okay, so what we need to do here is take a look at what troops the enemy has. They have a lot of cavalry. Should have brought some pikes and few infantry so we actually do have quite a lot of infantry but few siege equipment what that tells me is that they probably won't be able to concentrate themselves very hard on any one point of my uh, my fortress here so what i think i'll do is that i'll get the pikemen to uh, or the crossbowmen to assemble up here they should be able to shoot whatever comes their way right and they should be able to And I'll get some heavy infantry up here to protect them, just like that. Put some bowmen uh, somewhere over here, just like that. Set them on flaming munitions again. And from the looks of it, they are more inclined to go and attack our gate. So I'll actually get quite a lot of our troops to hold the gate right here. Just like that. So now it's time to weather the English assault. Quite a lot of troops over there. Oh, they also have some ladders here, so that might be a little bit of a problem. But these are pikemen. Um, I would assume these guys get some sort of a negative uh, modifier when they attack walls, simply because pikes aren't really that, that effective. Looks like they're going to be bringing up the siege equipment first. That's good. We're actually in a really, really strong fortress, so we should be fine. Catapults inside this game take a long time to siege buildings, so it's probably not the uh, buildings that'll collapse, it's probably our morale. Uh, because if he keeps on smashing us, they don't do all too much damage. Yeah, it's gonna take them a little bit of time. Uh, in the meantime, I mean, all we can do is really just get our troops to move to the side so yeah just kinda like that they're going to smash away at it but they're gonna use a lot of ammunition to smash down the walls let's get all the archers saved up now they might not even use their siege equipment they might just uh, take down my walls here well, in that case, uh, we could probably get our, our infantry down here as well, right? So that's not a big deal. Yeah, these walls hold up a long time. Bear in mind that we are uh, in six times real time, so yeah. One more should do the trick. The there we go. Are through the walls. Fight on! The enemy must get no further! 
Okay, so now that's down, their AI troops uh, are gonna move <laughs> their catapults up. Okay, fair enough. So from the looks of it, they're just going to take down uh, some of my infrastructure first. What are they firing? At my gate? Okay. They're gonna take down the gate, which is fine too. Because right now those catapults should be at the very most um, at half ammunition, right? And once those go, I have a feeling they'll attack. Oh, I hear troop movements. Yeah, they're bringing their... Ah, I see. Because they have a lot of cavalry, they're just going to try to uh, take us down like that. Well, in that case, let's get our dismounted Huskars over here. Our archers are just going to try to do their best uh, job in taking those guys out, and our infantry will come in themselves. Okay, well, if they're taking uh, that flank on, then I don't need these guys standing up here, so they'll come down. And these guys should have a nice little viewing place to shoot down at these guys, so perfect! And these crossbows are uh, fairly accurate, so they should be doing quite a lot of damage, even to people with armor, so that's good. Yeah, all of these cavalry units are just going to be cramped inside here. They're probably not going to be able to do anything. But what I'm worried about is all of this uh, infantry in the back. Highland rabble, Highland infantry, not that bad. Scott's pike militia, not that bad. Peasant, actually, these infantry units don't look all that all too powerful either. It's mainly these pikemen I'm worried about. With their heavy armor, I'm not sure if our axes can uh, sufficiently kill them in time. Uh, let's get some more of our infantry to come around the flank and just try to kill off as many of those troops as possible. Archers over here need to light up those pikemen militia. Huh, we might lose this battle to be uh, to be perfectly honest. Uh, in the event that happens, I'm gonna get my crossbowmen to actually start picking off some of these uh, generals' bodyguards, hopefully. I mean, if we do kill their commander, uh, at least we have that, right? Okay, so I think they'll hold for uh, the next little while. These guys should be going around here. And how's our numbers looking here? All we need to do is just continue the offensive. I mean, attacking spearmen from the front oh. is a good way to lose your cavalry units. Attack from the flank or rear, or better still, use some infantry. Left yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you be quiet. Yes, the enemy <laughs> have ladders at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. This is going to be a very, very difficult thing to kind of contain, simply because I really don't want uh, to lose like a lot of men here. I mean, here we're losing our like squads are mostly depleted. They have only like 40 units left. That's going to be the major problem because if we lose all of our men, we obviously can't detain. No, you be quiet. Our archers will try to keep these guys busy. We're gonna use archers as infantry. Um, hopefully they keep them busy long, long enough. Hopefully they be like this guy who just kicks people in the balls until they uh, until they die. Okay, so that should handle that. These guys are coming around. They are fresh, so they should be fine. Have a few guys routing on the front here. Starting to run out of infantry to contain this uh, area. It's okay though, because these guys are coming up. So these guys will smash in there and hopefully hold off the uh, Scottish.
Just like that. Oh, are they attacking my archers now? Oh no. That's not good. Okay, well it looks like uh his life away and perhaps our chances of victory with it. Yeah, it looks like yeah the Scottish are definitely gonna win this battle, but at least we can try to butcher as many of their forces as possible. By the Almighty Lord. My lord, only half of our force remains. Yeah, yeah unfortunately this is gonna be a long losing battle. God save us, the enemy have the walls. Look to our defense, or all will be lost. Oh god. Hopefully we can just kill off enough of their troops uh, to seriously deplete their units, right? Uh, where are these guys? They are near the plaza, they're just going to keep fighting it out with whatever's left. Oh hey, they were uh, actually managed, they actually managed to route those guys, well that's good. Our army is tiring. This defeat is a bitter drink to swallow. Okay, well, we fought a good battle there. Anyways. From this foul cup. Yeah, we actually killed more people than we lost, so I mean, that's pretty good. They took the fortress, but at least, uh, I think half of their army is dead now. So we should have an easier time next time. So unfortunately, we did lose Wick. Um, oh well. They're gonna take that settlement. Uh, but hopefully we'll take Gaskin or Nova uh, the next turns. I'm actually going to flee from this battle simply because I don't really want to fight him just yet. Um, because we kind of suffered a little bit of a heavy wound over there. Uh, let's pull these guys back to Dumfries. And let's get a few more troops deployed. So we should, yeah, we should be still gaining quite a lot of money over the turns. Let's buy some more... Um, Let's buy a few more units to just kind of supplement our force. Speaking of which, let's get all of these um, Norse swordsmen, which should be fairly effective against the, the Scottish over there. Over here, we should be able to... Uh, we should be able to take this village in a little bit. We'll just siege that town from Mull. We can train up some more Norse uh, troopers. So this boat is just gonna come over here, pick up some guys, and ship them back there. I would advise you to listen to us this day. Nope. Okay, farewell. And let's see. Get these guys over here. Get these guys marching. Get these guys uh, dismount. Yes, Lord. my king. There we go. Yes. Marching to battle with pride, Lord. So yes. here, Surrounded I think I'll just build a few. Um, I'll just build a battering ram or two. Maintaining the siege, there, my king. because yeah, this should be fine now. For the siege of Perth, I my think king. I'm going to just build two battering rams simply because we have a lot of cavalry here, and I think it'd be really better um, if we just broke through the gate and entered from there rather than doing anything else. Yeah, this place, Eren's gonna fall in a little bit, but uh, our troops should be able to do away with the rest of the fronts. There we go. So, um, let's see if we can attack this place right now. Yes, we can, so that's good. I'll maintain the siege for now, check out the other places, uh, including this place, which I... Which I kind of want to start the battle now, but I have a feeling we, we should reinforce our troops with a couple of units, and then start the battle, and then just auto-resolve uh, it, so that'll take away that, and that'll complete this uh, objective. So with that said, we gain a nice little detachment of Huskarls, which are mounted units. Uh, yeah, these guys are also fairly powerful, but we're going to be keeping them in reserve for now. Actually, I think I'll just ship them onto the mainland as a, um, as a combined army. They'll actually take uh, up garrison over here for the next little bit, just to kind of control uh, Dumfries over there. And over here, 
uh, inside our capital. I guess we'll be building a few more troops. Um, and also, I guess we'll be getting a few more farms here and there. And I think that should be it. Leaving the army. There we go. Faction leader dies. Our king is dead from the looks of it. So that sucks. We did lose our king. Um, doesn't look like they had an assassin unit over here. So I guess he died of natural causes. To serve, my lord. Let's see. Uh, we have an army here. These guys are going to go for that village. While the people here are occupied. Here, it looks like they are really preoccupied with their troops being inside their towns or lands. So we will... Um, kind of take advantage of that. We have a port here, uh, we'll where well, we will repair the uh, the walls here, and we should be able to assemble another um, army of troops in a little bit, and we'll send them over to attack them. To um, to just kind of come up here, rather, and then we should be able to just kind of snatch off the enemy. Up your head and spit on you. This woods provide a perfect ambush site. Royal funding reduced. Unfortunately, our sovereign has deemed it unnecessary to reduce our king's purse as the royal treasury has been heavily taxed throughout our conflict. Okay, so <laughs> the funny thing is that that's, well, that's a scripted event, right? And, uh, well, technically we don't have a king anymore, but here you'll see that the majority of our income is actually coming from the king's purse, which is essentially just a, like a artificial source of money. So we're going to have to make do with what we have here for now. King, it's uh, our Prince Mangus actually turns into King Mangus now, and he leads this. He leads the assault onto Gascon. So because he's a knight attacker, we can actually attempt a knight attack, and what that'll do is that that'll actually remove all reinforcements, uh, just to kind of simulate surprise, and we're just going to auto-resolve this battle, which should uh, take a gas glow from our enemy right here. Yeah, there we go. So hopefully that will, yeah, that'll get our budget in the green for now. And this army right here. Needs to. to battle with pride, Lord. Um, these guys need to just kind of hold up on the siege for now. I'm going to capture Sterling and then see what happens from there. Edward departs on a crusade. So the king of uh, England actually departs onto a crusade, weakening them even more. Guild available, the Thieves Guild. Um, I'm actually not sure what this building does, so I think I'll just buy it and check because it. It's not too horribly expensive. So we have the Thieves Guild right here, which is uh, doesn't seem to do anything really. I guess it will uh, do something later on. Anyways, uh, what else? What other buildings we have here? So we have a town hall, a shipwright, and a merchant's wharf. Uh, so just econo economic buildings, and we have a town guard, which will allow us to train uh, some some troops. Okay, so that's kind of that. We have. Um, a little bit of conflict yes, here, so go we're just going to go around by yes, a single siege uh, tool and then just kind of leave it like that. So now uh, we should be able to just kind of go back onto the warpath now that um, all of those things have been kind of taken care of. Gonna buy some more militia to just kind of calm down the populace. Um, siege the settlement and just try to take it. There we go. So siege the settlement. There we go. So another village is ours now. The fires of independence burn brightly in Scotland. Weary of aggression from its neighbors, a new hero has emerged to unite Scotland. Oh, this is yeah. This is the William Wallace thing. His name is William Wallace. So yeah, he kind of appears. Uh, sorry to cut the cutscene short because yeah, there's um, I don't know, there's some problem with my computer. At the end of that one, it causes a crash, so we're just going to do that. Okay, so we're just going to clean up here and hopefully get back onto the siege uh, track. My lord. And uh, as soon as those guys have built, that settlement should be fine, that settlement should be fine. So now we almost have control of Scotland, which is good. 
in a few turns. This like place you. should be in our control. Yes, I'll get this army to come over here oh, no. simply because um, in the event that the people in Perth try to sally oh, forth, we should be able to take them over. Rioting happening. Oh no. Um, should be able to buy some more militia and solve that problem in a little bit. Same with uh, this place over here. As soon as we repair these three buildings, we should be able to build some troops and get everything like set up. Yes, Assault will occur enemy. on their capital. Clear victory for us once again. Um, I'm gonna like skip a lot of the battles simply because I don't feel like the battles are all too interesting as uh, once you've seen them once or twice. It's gonna take that place over and uh, oh, in Hindenburg over here should be uh, also a fairly easy battle. And that's just gonna be another easy victory for us. Perfect. Okay, so that's pretty good now that we've captured this uh, little bit of like Heartland, England, or Scotland. Um, as you can see here, our income is a uh, positive 4,000, or close to 4,000, so uh, should that King's Purse uh, bit be, re be taken back, we should still be fine. Going to take another rebel settlement over here, but first I think we should train up some more troops in the rear. So we're going to get some more axemen and some more north swordsmen. I'll do archers in a little bit later time period, simply because right now it's not really a good idea to do so. Yeah, so now let's see what just happened. Uh, king, yeah, the king's purse thing took away uh, even more support, so now it's at 2,000. Uh, with that said, we might be in a little bit of a jiffy here. The people of um, Scotland have decided to get to form up another army, and it looks like they've taken up settlement in Gasglow. So, with that said, it looks like we need to get some more troops onto the front, so let's get these guys onto the island right there. Want to check that course again, my lord? Yes! Um, yeah, so, I think I'll actually end this part of the video here. Uh, as always, be sure to like and subscribe. Next time, I guess we'll see a little bit more combat in terms of the battles. Hopefully capture Gasglow back and really just drive out the Scottish out of the north. So, until then, bye-bye.